All right, as I said, this is not a, uh, a pro tournament technique. This is a meat fishing technique. It's way too tedious for the pros of today to show you and film because it can take a long time to get a fish in doing this, but it's 100% effective. You're going to reel one, two, three. See how slow that is? It's very tedious and extremely effective. All right, today is the 15th of August, and it's the day that we film under the dock to see what's under the dock. We've been doing this for a year. And you're not going to see very much because we've had an inch and a half of rain overnight. So uh, I'm going to show you a, a technique from the past in the 1960s for catching bass from the bank. Now this was a meat fishing technique. It's 100% effective, and I'm going to ask you not to use it the way I show it to you first because it's also 100% effective at killing fish. The truth is, at the dawn of the worm age, we killed a hell of a lot of fish learning how to fish with worms. Now, you know, the pros today, they won't admit that, the old pros, but that is the truth. Um, we didn't know how to hook them. You'd see them hooked all crazy kind of ways. And what happened was Eagle Claw came out with this type of a hook. Now today, you're lucky to find a, you know, a few cards of these if you can find them at all. They're usually in a size one or two, but uh, back in that era, this was a revolution to fish with worms and you hooked them like that. There were basically two worms that we used. One was the man's jelly worm. Uh, a large worm and or and I can't find it a Bagley's uh, springtail worm now this is a an approximation of it but the tail of the Bagley's springtail worm would be a real thick white and it would curl right up here like that and it, it was just deadly on uh, bass I tended to use this over man's but you know uh, man came up with the proper way to hook hook a worm with uh, uh, offsets and all kinds of things that he figured out. A lot of people claim that, but he's the only one with roads that named after him that I know of. So I'm going to give the credit to him. But before that, this was the revolution that we fished with. And I'm going to fish with that today. I'm going to hook this little worm here and uh, and fish with it from the bank. Show you how to, when you get a strike, uh, what that gonna look like. And a crappie will hit that, a bluegill will hit it, a turtle will hit it, a bass will hit it. They all feel the same. You don't know, you don't know what is on the end of that line. The, the clue, that separates the wheat from the chaff is there's only one that will run with it, and that's the bass. He'll pick it up and run with it. So if that happens, you know you got a bass on the end of the line. You don't know what size. The size bass does not matter. They, they all feel the same, so you have to treat them all the same. Okay. Let's see how you swim this worm First, I'm going to use the man's because it's got this big tip paddle. A lot of people preferred that because of the action that you could get with it easier than the springtail worm. And coming toward you is a man's jelly worm. Now I've got the red tip is steady and see how that, that worm head goes back and forth? You do that by doing this. One, two, three. Oh. All right, now you know what we're doing. Let's go catch a fish. All right, we're back here, and I'm going to hook up this old worm here. Now, when you first get these, this spring is going to be really tight up against this hook. So take it and collapse it 
a little bit and get it to where it's really easy to come off of there. Really easy. So that when a fish does hit it, you don't have to do that herky-jerky thing. The second you just pull it, it'll hook them. Okay? That's how you set up these hooks. Alright, the first technique, the one not to use. You're going to toss out. You already know to reel slow. You're going to toss out. You're going to hold your finger here if you're using one of these old Zebcos. And if you want to know how to use that or get one, uh, just click Zebco Buyer's Guide or plug that into your search engine. It'll come tumbling out. Now, uh, so you feel a bite. Click the button. If it starts running, that's a bass. Okay, at some point, it's going to stop. Now the old technique was when it stopped, you just waited, and you waited, and you waited, and, it, and then when it starts moving out again, you would jerk them. Well, what they're doing when they stop is they're swallowing the bait, and that's what's 100% effective at killing them. One until later we all figured out how not to do that, and that is... Once it starts going out and stops, you count to three and then jerk them and you'll hit them in the mouth. Okay. And that avoids killing those fish. 100% effective technique. And what I want you to do, it's a lot more fun to, for you to post what you caught doing this rather than me, you know, sitting out here catching fish after fish. Show us what you do with it. And good luck with your fishing. See you next month.